type of work permits. We're going to have a lecture. In this lecture, we'll talk about the different type of work permit that you can find in the Canadian immigration system. There are two types of work permits, open work permits and employer-specific work permits. Open work permit. An open work permit allows you to work for any employer in Canada except for an employer who is listed as ineligible on the list of employers who have failed to comply with the conditions of a foreign worker temporary program or employers who regularly offer striptease, erotic dance, escort services, or erotic massages. These type of employers are not allowed in the program. And for that reason, if any of the employer that you get is listed as a failed employer or is listed as an employer that offers striptease and erotic dance services, then your employer won't be eligible for the program. In a few words, it won't be authorized to hire foreign workers to Canada. You can only get an open work permit in specific situations. What is an open work permit? An open work permit is a work permit that is not job specific because it is not specific. You will not need the following when you apply for a work permit. You will need a labor market impact assessment, LMIA, from Employment and Social Development Canada, or a proof that an employer has submitted an offer of employment through the employer portal and paid the employer compliance fee. And in most cases, you will have to pay the open work permit holder fee at the same time that you pay the work permit fee. So there's two different fees. So you need to pay both fees in order to apply for an open work permit in order to come to Canada. Types of open work permits. There are two types of open work permits. Those that are unrestricted and allow foreign nationals to work in any occupation, and those that restrict the occupation or the location. Open work permits may be issued with conditional restrictions depending on the applicant's medical status as Regulation 185B or with location restrictions depending on the category, bringing open work permit under the provincial nominee class. So this open work permit can be restricted. You will see in some work permit that you it's written by the officer that the applicant uh, cannot work in health services, cannot work with uh, children, cannot work in uh, school facilities. Depending on location or country of origin, also can work probably in agriculture uh, jobs. So you will see that kind of notes in the work permit, depending on the situation, uh, in the case that they need to restrict the occupation or the location. Also, somebody get a bridging open work permit under the provincial only class, you will have a restriction of the place that I need to work. For example, if you are in a provincial nominee uh, program in Saskatchewan, when, if they issue the bridging open work permit, you won't be able to work in, let's say, Quebec or let's say uh, British Columbia. It's going to be restricted to the location when that bridging open work permit is attached to the provincial nominee uh, program of the province. So it's just an, an idea of the restriction that you might find in some open work permits. Who can be issued an open work permit? Applicants in the following categories are eligible. People that are in the Canada World Youth Program participants, in the International Experience Canada Working Holiday Exchange Program participants, family members of foreign representatives and of military personnel who are LMIA exempt, and professional athletes authorized to enter Canada on the basis of extension 620. So this type of people are allowed to apply for an open work permit. The spouses of skilled workers labor on the paragraph R205, exception code C41. Spouses of foreign students labor under the paragraph R205C, section C42. 
and qualifying foreign nationals currently in Canada who apply for PR under the economic programs and are eligible for bridging open work permit. Again, these are the type of situations when the applicants can actually apply for an open work permit and you will qualify. Now, when it comes to employer specific work permits, we will find that an employer specific work permit allows you to work accordingly to the conditions of your work permit, which include the name of the employer you can work for, how long you can work, and the location where you can work, if applicable. What are the steps to getting a work permit? Step one. The employer, most of the cases, need to apply for a labor market impact assessment if necessary. We will learn about the LMIA in the later lecture. Step two, the employer need to extend a temporary job offer to the applicant, in this case the foreign worker. Step three, the foreign worker applies for work permit. Remember, in this to go to the stage, the employer we assume the employer has already issued a positive or neutral LMIA and already have a stand a temporary job offer that the foreign worker have accepted. In your link for them, then two documents, you go and apply for a work permit. And finally, the work permit is issued by the visa office that is serving the country of the applicant. Now, what are the main documents needed to apply for a work permit? To apply for a work permit, a worker, or foreign worker in this case, needs to have a job offer letter, a contract, a copy of the LMIA, and the LMIA number. And it's important people get confused. A job offer letter is not the same as a contract. The contract will have more information about the nature of the job, the, uh, the benefit, the conditions, and everything. The job offer is more general about the benefit uh, and the salary and the duties. You're going to need a copy of the LMIA that was sent to the employer. And also you're going to need an LMIA number that is in that document in order to apply for your work permit. So all, all of these are the main documents needed to apply for a work permit. Of course, there are also other documents that they, you're going to need, like the immigration forms that you need to fill out and also the checklist of the documents that the application might need. In some cases, an interview might, might apply, in some cases no, depending on the immigration officer and the visa office. But you need to have all the documentation with you, proving uh, everything in front of the immigration officer. And now we're gonna take a look at the Government of Canada website when it comes to determining your type of work permits. And here we are in the Government of Canada website in the page of the IRCC about type of work permits. As you can see here, we can see the pages with the information. We talk about the open work permits and the employee specific work permits. So basically, that's the definition. We already covered that. And then we have a, a very interesting tool here, very similar to the previous one. When you answer the questions, and based on the question, it will tell us what, which type of work permit do we need? So, for example, I will say that I am an entrepreneur. If I click entrepreneur here and I click submit, it will send me the information about the entrepreneur and what type of work permit I'm eligible for. Uh, you can read the information, just a definition. Tell me about the fee that I need to pay. The offer, that I need, they get an offer of employment. Talk about the NLC. Uh, all the instructions. And then finally a link that tell me who are to apply for a work permit. So. This is basically what the tools does. If I change the selection, let's go back again. And I say, no, no, no. I'm actually a maintenance worker. What type of work permit do I, 
do I need? So again, you give me the information. Employee specific work permit. Again, it give you it really help you out with determine what type they give you the link so you can check the requirements of that uh, type of work permit give you the general requirements and to ask you about the employee employer compliance fee that need to be paid and that offer of employment that have to be also submitted so it's a good tool give us the headache we can keep keep on coming back and trying everything if I'm an actor what should I do? Again, employee specific work permit. It tell me the job related to dance, opera, orchestra, music, or live theater. And more additional information. And of course, then the general requirements and the payment, the fee payment, and the offer of employment number. So you can see this tool. This basically available on the website of the Government of Canada. And for here, this is the end of our lecture. Thank you very much.